Of all the issues that have retarded the growth of EVs, there's little doubt that range tops the list. In fact, for those of us who own an EV, there is no more common question than how far can the car go before the battery runs out? Of course, every car has a finite supply of onboard fuel and therefore every car has limited range. But because gas stations are just about everywhere, there's no worry for ICE owners when the fuel gauge approaches empty. Unless, of course, they're on a lonely, desolated road far from civilization. The emotion that you feel in situations like that is called range anxiety. And as we'll see in the next EVU mini course in this sequence, range anxiety is a big, big issue in the EV world. But back to range. Range is the distance you can travel with an EV with a battery that's fully charged. More specifically, range is a function of a specific set of vehicle parameters that include the manner in which the vehicle is driven, its exterior design, and its battery capacity. And a specific set of driving conditions that include external factors associated with the vehicle's surroundings. The vehicle parameters that affect range are not exclusive to EVs. In fact, they affect the mileage of every ICE vehicle and therefore the range of every car. Let's take a look. Vehicle parameters are the specific characteristics of the vehicle and the way you drive it. Vehicle speed increases drag and that results in more force required to move the EV through the air. The more force required, the lower your fuel economy and therefore the shorter your range. Vehicle design dictates the external shape of the car, which in turn affects the way the airflow over the vehicle's surface, which affects drag, which affects the force required to move the car through the air. Finally, the battery. The higher capacity, its capacity, the more energy can be stored and the greater the vehicle's range. We'll talk more about vehicle design issues and range a bit later, but first let's consider speed. It's important to make a distinction between speed and acceleration. In general, speed has a significant impact on EV range. Acceleration doesn't, and that may come as a bit of a surprise. Over the years, you've heard that hard driving, that is rocketing away from a stoplight, will kill the mileage of an ICE vehicle, so it's only natural to assume the same holds true for EVs. Part of the reason is that ICE motors are inefficient, and because of that and a few other design factors, they labor to produce torque once the, you floor the gas pedal. That's why hard driving kills mileage for an ICE car. But that's not the case for EVs. The reason is that there's a very high efficiency in an electric motor and it produces instantaneous torque from a dead stop. Nick Howe discusses this in the context of the Tesla Model S when he writes, the amazing efficiency of the electric motor means that driving 70 versus 50 has a much bigger impact on range than accelerating from zero to 60 in four seconds versus eight seconds. But back to speed. The faster you drive, the shorter your range. That's true for every car or truck or SUV or motorcycle. To descend into the technical weeds for a moment, that's because the force required to propel the vehicle forward increases as the square of the velocity. Like most things in life, speed, is a, speed versus range is a trade-off. If you want to get there fast, you will reduce your range. If you have a long, long way to go, reducing your speed will help. The graph on your screen illustrates this for the Tesla Model S BEV. The Model S's range is an astonishing 450 miles at 20 miles per hour. But driving 20 miles per hour is, well, it's not an option, at least not for me. But if I drive 70, on an interstate, the Model S range drops to 225 miles. At 80, 200 miles. Based on my personal experience, the actual numbers may even be slightly lower. Earlier, I mentioned that design is a vehicle parameter that has 
a significant impact on range. Anything in the vehicle design that reduces drag increases range. So a good EV designer works hard to reduce something called drag area that we'll talk about in part two of this mini, mini course. Minimize external attachments such as roof racks, an antenna, a large spoiler and the like. Improve the profile of side mirrors, which surprisingly can reduce drag by as much as two to seven percent. Reduce the air turbulence around the vehicle. And in addition, consider fabrication details like the design of wheels that will have an impact on range. But the most important single EV component that, ex that affects range is the battery itself. The energy required for an EV is derived from its battery. Therefore, it should come as no surprise the size of an EV battery will have a direct influence on the range of the car. As you've already learned, battery capacity is measured in kilowatt hours. Small batteries are typically used in PHEVs and have a capacity in the neighborhood of 4 to 15 kilowatt hours. For example, the Prius plug-in PHEV has a 4.5 kilowatt hour battery. Moderately sized batteries are found in both PHEVs and some small BEVs and, are, and typically have a capacity between 16 and 35 kilowatt hours. For example, the Nissan LEAF BEV has a battery capacity of 24 kilowatt hours. Large capacity batteries are rare today. Only the Tesla Model S offers battery sizes of 60 and 85 kilowatt hours. It should come as no surprise that the Model S is the clear range leader, offering vehicle range of 208 and 265 miles depending on the battery chosen. The natural question is, why can't we build higher capacity, cheaper EV batteries? It can be added, argued that battery capacity and battery cost are the two things that have retarded the growth of the EV market. So what's the battery capacity and cost challenge? Inside an EV, there is a limited space and a limited geometry in which we can place the battery. Therefore, we need to consider how to build batteries with higher energy density per cubic centimeter to overcome these constraints. But that leads us to other technological constraints. There are six battery characteristics that must be evaluated for every new battery technology that is proposed. Specific energy, also known as the capacity of the battery. Cost, the overall cost per kilowatt hour. Lifespan, the number of charging cycles that the battery can accommodate. Performance, the ability to operate effectively in various climates. Safety and specific power, the ability of the battery to deliver on-demand current when needed. The radar diagram on the right of your screen can be developed for every new battery technology to determine whether its footprint is more compelling than lithium ion the current go-to battery for EVs. In the next part of this mini course, we'll explore EV range in more detail.